All right, hey there. So I wanted to show you how to set up your agar plates. Uh, we have a couple different kinds of nutrient broth. This one is just nutrient broth. You can see it's in liquid form. Um, it has all the components needed for bacteria to grow fairly happily. And then if you add agar to it, it creates a solidified form, form where at room temperature, it's a solid. Now we wanna basically get this solid into these petri dishes. So we need to melt this first. We're gonna be using a water bath to melt it. And so um, this water bath, we're gonna go ahead and turn on. And then we actually wanna add the agar nutrient mix to this water bath in the bottle before this heats up. And we don't want the glass to shatter by adding it into a hot water bath. So what you first need to do, and I recommend doing this with gloves on, um, it doesn't necessarily need to be near the Bunsen burner because we're not actually opening this. We don't want anything from the outside to get into here and contaminate our, our broth or in this case our nutrient agar, but you do wanna undo the top just a little bit, just so that their pressure doesn't build up in here and cause it to burst. So once that's just loosened a little, still on there, but still, but loosened, then you're gonna put it in the water bath and you want the water line to be just above the level of your nutrient agar. So we want the water line in the, in the bath to be about up to here and the nutrient agar mix below it. So again, we're gonna, in the second bottle, undo it so that the pressure doesn't build up as the, as it's heating up. And then we're gonna put this again in the water bath. And now we'll just let that sit until basically it becomes a liquid form. It'll look much like this, um, even though it does have agar. And when that happens, I'll update you then. But basically we're gonna be pouring it into these sterilized Petri dishes. Typically these can be purchased sterile, um, or if they're glass ones, you can actually autoclave them and then use it. When we do that, we will want it to be near a Bunsen burner because we want to have it within our aseptic technique area so that we don't get contaminants in our Petri dishes and then all of a sudden we don't know what it is that we're growing. It's something just that landed in there and started growing. So I'll update you when we get to that point. Okay.